Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce pipe flow and the differences between it and open channel flow. Uh, the first and most obvious difference is defined in the name. Pipe flow is through a pipe which has no free surface exposed to the atmosphere, whereas open channel flow is through a channel which has a free surface exposed to the atmosphere. Uh, pipes which are not flowing full are considered as open channel flow because there is a free surface. Now for open channel flow we found out that the driving force of the flow was gravity uh, and there was no pressure change along the flow. In pipe flow because there is no free surface the main driving force is pressure so we're um, able to apply a pressure gradient to the pipe flow and so we'll be dealing more with pressure gradients. Um, pressure gradients are a pressure change across a length of pipe just so you know. The classic example here is when you suck on a straw. The suction you provide by inhaling causes pressure to drop in your mouth. Um, so the pressure in the cup that you're drinking from is then greater than the pressure in your mouth. So this fluid starts to flow from uh, the cup which has a high pressure to your mouth which has lower pressure, low to high, um, uh, high pressure, low pressure flow. The effects of gravity don't make the fluid any harder to drink because it has a negligible effect on pipe flow which is mostly driven by pressure. Uh, another way to say this is that by inhaling you're increasing the pressure gradient within the straw. Now the classifications of pipe flow in terms of laminar turbulent and transitional flow is different to open channel flow. Um, once again that's because there is no free surface. So for laminar flow uh, the distinction here is where RE of the flow is less than 2100 and the way we look at this is by injecting dye into a pipe. So here's our pipe. Um, the way we observe the um, flow state of a pipe flow is we inject a dye into the pipe um, with fluid traveling at various speeds. So for laminar flow, the flow line is straight and constant, meaning it has a constant velocity. For turbulent flow, the distinction here is RE greater than 4000. And obviously the flow line here is going to be pretty jumbled, messed up, a lot of v vertical movement. Um, they're relatively unpredictable and all over the place. So the velocity of the flow varies. It, it accelerates um, and decelerates. So we're going to be treating turbulent flows differently to laminar flows in this topic. And obviously in between the two is transitional, which is RE greater than...